We'll see if Dark is going to bring some aggressive plays to the table here. Uh, and we'll see what, what Terror is opting to go for. I think on stream, I see him doing, uh, you know, fairly traditional stuff most of the time. Probably not going to see any like 1 1 1 or risky things, especially against a fellow Peruvian player. Oh, is, is oh, no Dark? Sound. Apparently, no sound. Is there no sound? Oh, okay. 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 So, yeah, I agree with what you said. Um, I didn't know that Dark's Peruvian, so maybe Terra has a versus don't, don't quote me, but I believe Dark is another South American player, and, you know, reputation tends to be the case there. You, you do tend to see a lot of those more aggressive plays. Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm ready for game one. Let's get into it. It's going to be in the way of an Eddie as our first map. All right. Let's see it. I'm, I'm curious. I'm expecting to play relatively standard and be confident in his macro game, in which case it's just going to be a matter of reading and anticipating what it is that uh, Dark is doing. And as long as you get good reads, uh, I think I think the series should go pretty easily to Terror. I agree. So let's see if Terror can pull out the victory here. Oh, wait, what? I thought Dark was a Zerg. I guess Dark's a Protoss. Okay. Okay, so, all right, well, in the top right, we have a Protoss player we, that we thought was a Zerg. It is Dark. All right, and in the bottom right-hand corner, as the Orange Terran, we have Terror, one of the top three foreign Terrans, I would say, and uh, one of the reasonable favorites for DSL 6 in its entirety. Yeah, Terror... To be honest, Terra's one of my favorite players because he's got really good standard play. He does. You, you have to have standard play to win these days, but he's also got one of the best, you know, mix-ups. He, he's even beat Larva. Like he had a really sick, like floating factory, but going Marine Medic behind it to take out Larva. So he's really dangerous. You cannot just assume that he's just gonna cheese you. You can't just assume he's gonna play standard. He'll, he'll mix it up very well. Yep. So, uh, Terra, a really big threat to take the whole tournament. Now, th this is interesting to me that Dark is Protoss here. This makes me think that, that he might be a race picker. Yeah, I guess that is possible. I'm trying to remember from, from you know, back in the day, but, I you know, he wasn't ever quite prominent enough to, you know, be casting tons of games of him, so I can't remember specifically if he's a pure Protoss or if he does uh, pick races. But that probably will make Terra just a little bit more uncomfortable. Um, as, as for most Terrans, you know, playing against Protoss, particularly in the early game, is is, is not necessarily comfortable. Yeah, so we are on In the Way of an Eddy. This is always a difficult map for me because you want to Gasless Expand if you can, but if you do that, a lot of times you're facing a bunch of Dragoons because Protoss players like to get a heavy Dragoon count and just overlook yeah. your natural ramp since this is a, an inverted ramp. Yep. Now Dark here, he's going for 12 Nexus. So he's, he's playing very greedy, and we're going to have to wait and see how's Terra's response going to be. Hopefully he scouts first, but the angle this SCV is going, unfortunately, yeah. he's not going to get a first scout. Yeah, we can see where that's headed. Actually, is he going cross? He's going cross. Oh, no, no, never mind. And it's going to be 12 next, huh? So he's going to have pretty late chance um, to, to punish this. Now, when he scouts this third, uh, will he have any opportunity to punish this or not? It's, it's at the right speed, yeah. Yeah, so Terra's not going to scout this. And, yeah. he, well, he may b get there before, like, the factory's, you know, done. But there's not going to be an, uh, an SCV pull. If he went for an SCV pull, that would be extremely shocking. Normally, when I scout like this, I like to go mines afterwards. Because at least you're going to have map control with the mines. You're going to yeah. force Protoss to go into a tech that you know is yeah. coming. It's not like they're going to go DTs afterwards because that would be suicide. So <laughs> you know that it's going to be robotics. Because of that, you can be pretty safe, pretty sure that no Reaver is going to come, or at least it's going to be delayed. So you, you'll be able to catch up in supply versus dark. Also, one thing with, with 12 Nexus, it's a lot of times Protoss is in the dark and they have to cut probes. Exactly like what we're seeing here, where dark is cutting a few probes to make sure that he can get out this fast zealot. So despite having the fast nexus, it's not going to be uh, as 
Think of the oh, deal he's going for it. He's going for it. There's Marines moving out. Wow, he is pulling S SCVs. So he went cross scouts, and because of that, he does see it. And here comes an SCV and Marine pull. Now, Terror has to micro this perfectly because every time I try this, all my SCVs just glitch out and they end up just allowing the Zealot to get on top of the Marines and all my Marines die. Well, we'll see. I mean, you were just talking about Terra's micro. And one thing I will say from Terra is he's one of those players you watch and he just has crisp mouse accuracy at speed. So I'm expecting some decent micro, although the Zealot does already get off a hit here on this uh, first Marine. Yeah, now, you saw those SCVs move far ahead. They're, they actually allowed the Zealot to get onto the back line, but Dark didn't get on top of it, and now this yeah, bunker is going to go strong. Yeah, he only he's not even trying to contest it. Yeah, there's one Zealot, and because of that, the Dragoons are late. This bunker is going to complete, and now this Nexus is probably going to die. Dark also has not started range. Okay, that's because he didn't plan to get range. He's going straight into robotics. Yeah, you, you were saying how there might not be Reavers, but in, at the same time, I was thinking, you know what, these guys... Dark's, Dark's one of those, you know, Peruvian players that I think more or less is known for these unorthodox plays, you know, even if they're maybe not technically correct. And it's one of those cases where if you just don't expect it and all of a sudden your opponent does something, even if it objectively might not be the strongest thing, it can throw you off. So we'll see, we'll see where he's going with this robotics. It might just be at this point to get some mines, though, knowing that the Vulture's going to be laying some. Oh, Dark barely not getting that Vulture. Every Vulture is so critical because you know that mines are going to be coming out. Mine upgrade is about halfway done. And this, this is almost, I don't want to call it right now, but this is a very difficult position for Dark. He lost the Nexus, but not only did he lose the Nexus, Terror, a lot of times when you're pulling SCVs to stop this, you're pulling upwards of eight, 10 SCVs. He pulled five. Yeah, so he didn't yeah, even yeah. really hurt his That's econ that much. So he's he's skyrocketing. He also- so Oh, dark. Terror's just gonna attack, what? Oh my gosh, okay. No, he should not attack. He should just sit in this yeah, bunker. I was gonna say, if he goes down the ramp, that would be weird. It would take an eternity for Protoss to get out. It, oh, actually, no, he did this, yeah. He, was, he just wanted to build a lay mines. He wanted a little more real estate, I think, to get those mines down. And now, of course, uh, units will have to be sacked, or he's going to have to wait for a knob, so it's going to further delay that expansion. Yeah, exactly. And now he even killed the Zealot, so the Zealot can't even just, you know, strut yep. up here and clear out the mines. Yep. So this is terrible for Dark. I think he he's building an Observer, but really, I think he needs to get a shuttle, maybe elevator to the right side, because... It's just going to take so long for him to get up the ramp. The yeah. the mines are in a weird position where even one Dragoon, I think, only one Dragoon will be able to shoot the mines, and you're going to have the uphill advantage where they're missing a lot. So it's going to take a long time even to clear the mines, let alone the bunker. Yep, and this is not like our ASL map where you can just glitch a probe around uh, to an alternate base and just throw a Nexus up right now. Oh, but the Ops is out, so this is not going to be crazy delayed but obviously i mean if you look at the timing it's still going to be way behind terror cc and of course terror already has that second factory only two gateways for dark so no real aggressive options here it's going to be dark playing from the back burner yeah so we have dark he's building a shuttle now uh, it's got to be for a bulldog play i guess yeah to clear out the mines it, but our, do we have an SCP? Okay, we do have an SCP to repair the bunker but i mean of course the bunker is going to go down but regardless Look how long it's taking to just clear these two mines out. Yep. And now the bunker's still got a perfect position. Yep. He might even get a Dragoon. Whoa. Oh, wow. wow. Dark, 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 dark. Especially if Dark wants to be aggressive. Like, losing units here is a huge deal if you want to be aggressive. Yeah. Oh, he might. They're so low. That other Dragoon is so low. He's trying to desperately get down this bunker. I will get it now, but yeah, it, the delay oh, is. So he's long. losing a lot of help on a lot of Dragoons. He's going to soften up any sort of aggression he wants to do tremendously yeah and meanwhile so, behind this terror look at his natural he's got a rax ebay wall he's got multiple turrets so a shuttle bomb play flat out will not work now we have to say that it's only one tank there is a little bit of an opportunity for dark here yeah. but if he waits even just a few seconds like what we saw him hesitate on the ramp there we're gonna have three five tanks for terror third the three tanks are gonna pop well, this out is gonna be a scary attack from dark here with just one tank he hasn't built a bunker he's not building marines oh he's got two more in the natural the one good news is he should have seen the shuttle if he was watching when his bunker was killed that shuttle was just rallied in range of his vision and i like this he is setting up with some tanks over to the side but of course not as defensive as normally being down there on the low ground yeah, Ter Terra's just got great defense. I love his turret line. I love even the tank oh, in the an elevator. There's an elevator, elevator. Okay. and that, it's exactly that. It's going to be an elevator, but he's already ready. Yeah, although he's going to get on top of at least one of these tanks. Oh, no. oh he's going to lose the shuttle. This is very sloppy shuttle control here. So this is going to be easily held, I think, at this point. 
so we we held at the main the tanks at the natural oh my gosh the dragoons are just barely out of range not yeah. getting either of those tanks so D terror held this very easily meanwhile darks in desperation mode he took a double nexus but there's and a vulture he sees against. there's double nexus and yep. because of that we already have four factories going up yeah and I, he's lost all these dragoons for no damage like what, what response is he going to have to this i don't think he's going to have anything He's not teching behind this. It's not like he can surprise or try to delay with DTs or anything. Like, there's just no options. Yeah, he, he's got to rebuild all his units. He, he, yeah. he can't really power. He's going to try and get this Nexus going. If he even runs That's in here, look at this concave, though. They, these tanks are just going to immediately kill three Dragoons or something if he even dares to poke in. Yeah, and Terror, like I said, he, he doesn't necessarily go for 2-1 every game. If he no, sees yeah. a vulnerability... He'll pounce on you, and that's what we're seeing here. We got five pack. He's got his armory. He may wait for plus one, but I highly doubt it. He knows what an advantage he has. All right, so this vulture's going to get cleared out. Um, but of course, Terra's seen the Nexus, as you pointed out. Although the vulture missed a chance to get a probe killer, too. Terra a little more focused on some base management back at home. Yeah. And, and it looks Terra. like Terra's going to roll on out here. And there's yeah. probably just going to be rallying vultures from all these factories. Yep. Yeah, this All is, right, this so Ghosty Dark coming down here to meet this, but Terror should be pretty... Well, actually, no, Ghosty Dark will get up, or not Ghosty Dark, Dark will get up on the high ground. So we are bleeding out a few Vultures here, but it, it doesn't really matter at this point. Yeah. We have an equaling amount the of tanks, tanks yeah. Dragoons. <laughs> I know, the tanks high are on the high ground. ground. Oh, and Dark even tries to fight in there. And what are these Marines? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if that was intended to be a trap, but it was pretty funny. Yeah, so, so Terrors on his victory march... He does have to be a little careful going up the ramp, but not really. He just has so many tanks. No, he didn't even remake a shuttle. Like, there's just, I don't know, Terra would have to do some ridiculous level of blunder at this point. Yeah, and also a lot of these Dragoons are softened up. I'm, I highlighted all of them, several deep in the red. So their shields are already gone. This is essentially half health Dragoons fighting, equaling siege tanks. Dark is going to try and bust through, but there's so many tanks. Vulture's buffering the damage. All the Dragoons are going to melt. All these lines are always just going to run back, yeah. And Terra just advancing forward here. Dark is now stuck into his choke, and without even a shuttle, we know how unpleasant of a position that is as Protoss. It's basically always game losing. Yeah, it's just unfortunate for Dark that he really didn't get his econ going because he's macroing pretty well. He's keeping his resources pretty low. He's got four gates. It's not like he can really even support much more. It's just he's just taking too much economic damage. And as I said, we got Vultures going to the third. This Nexus is gone. No yeah. way he can save it. And really, what can Dark do? He needs a shuttle. He needs more macro, but he just can't match the macro from Terra. Terra even has more factories and gateways. Yeah, and it looks like uh, Ghost of Dark is going into Piers Lots, but it's going to be a little while before he has leg speed, and I don't know. I just don't like slots that much in, in small numbers against pushes. I would rather have more Dragoons, maybe a shuttle to bomb, but I feel like... If you, well, I guess in this case, though, he is in his choke, so he can't spread out his Dragoons. Yeah, so... Dark has that shuttle out. He's setting up a shuttle bomb to try and get on top of these tanks, but he's got to have a miraculous mind My drag into too. a bunch of tanks or something similar to, like that huge mind drop that we saw in Nostalgia years ago versus Silent Control. <laughs> Other than that, Terror is going to take this game easily. He's just got so much. But here we go, Dark. He's sitting right, in that shuttle. Go. Dragoons are coming. But I Last breath. Yeah. Shuttle's moving out a little bit slowly. It wasn't at full acceleration, so it's going to go down fairly fast. Tanks are being target fired well, and the uh, Vulture's going to clear out those Zealots nice and quick, and that's going to more or less do it. Yeah, there's just too much from Terror. He's doubling supply at this point. Great mine positioning and tank positioning. They're all spread out everywhere, turrets everywhere, and there is the GG coming out from Dark. So Terror with an incredibly well-judged, efficient bunker rush and a good follow-up to Dark. Uh, and then, I, like I said, I didn't like Dark's control in, in that uh, little bulldog attempt. Like, it was kind of a scary move, and I liked the way he just dropped the few zealots, but the fact that he didn't just go back with the shuttle and he just let the, the shuttle sit over the turret rather than coming back, maybe ferrying a goon or something over was just... It was weird play, and then he still ran in even after those those zealots were obviously dying. Yeah, well, I think Dark just got thrown off. It's uh, he played yeah. a little greedy there. He had two gate, but only built one zealot, and luckily for Terror, he went for that cross scout. You don't see that often because you don't get proxy gated on Eddie in the middle of the map. Yeah. So really a weird scout, but it worked out for him. So unfortunate for Dark. I did like his opener. It was it was fine, just a little bit too greedy. So let's get into game two, if we can.
So it looks pretty pretty likely that we'll be seeing uh, Nimu versus Terra, and then Dark against uh, Sugo. But well, let's see if Dark can turn it around. It's not over yet. Yeah, I think everybody just assumes that Terra is going to be up in the winners bracket. But yeah. we, uh, I, I guess we cannot really judge Dark's oh, skill yeah. from the last game because, again, like in the games for Sugo, it just went downhill from the get go. Although concerningly for Dark, even with a late pull from Terra. Just five SCVs was was enough to kill the Nexus, so that that's a little concerning on the on the micro front. That doesn't give you comfort as a Protoss when uh, Terran just kind of walks all over you like that. Yeah, uh, didn't work out for him. So uh, I'm ready for the next game. We are going into Circuit Breakers for game two. All right, let's do it. Right, so in the top right, we have one of the strongest Terrans in the tournament. He needs one more win to make it to the winner's round. It is Terror. And in the bottom left-hand corner, down 0-1, as our purple Protoss here, we have Dark. So if I'm Terror, I feel like maybe Dark might have realized that kind of, it just, it wasn't necessarily he played Poorly, it's just nothing went well for him. So because of that, I may expect a 12 Nexus again from Dark. And knowing Terror, we could potentially see a BBS. I, that's what I would be thinking, is I don't really feel like I necessarily outplayed this guy. It's more like, well, I got a free kill on the Nexus and everything went well for me. And if yeah. Dark has that mindset where, well, let's try 12 Nexus again, BBS would be a great counter to that. Yeah, indeed, that would be that would be quite something to see. But of course, we do see a depot, so it won't be that. Um, but it would be something because we don't see BBS that often in in uh, TVP. Yeah, BBS really all in. You only really see it on maps that are very unforgiving for Terran. So if we go back to previous ASLs, a map like Transistor, that's a pretty difficult map for Terran. Carriers and Reavers just. Uh, Incredible yeah. <laughs> on that map. So a lot of times you saw players going for BBS. Now look at Dark. I was just we I just yeah, talked about yeah, it. Yeah. It it wasn't like he, it wasn't like Terra did anything spectacular. It kinda just was unfortunate for Dark. And we're gonna see another twelve Nexus from Dark. Yeah, and this time it's cross map for Dark, so he's drawing his favor in that sense. And now I'm curious to see what he wanted to do with this 12 Nexus. Like, obviously he wanted a 12 Nexus, but 12 Nexus in and of itself is not a game plan. Like, there's there's something you want to, there's a, there's a deviation you want to go to from 12 Nexus. So I'm curious what Dark wants to do, and I I don't really expect it to be like a super macro game from him, so I'm curious to see where he wants to take this. Does he want to go gateway toss? Does he want to do something off of this that's unexpected? Maybe go for some unexpected tech that you wouldn't see? We'll just have to wait and see. Any, any thoughts, any predictions? Yeah, so 12 Nexus, it's always hard to tell because every product player seems to have a, a different take on 12 Nexus. I play people that go 12 Nexus, and as soon as they see that you've expanded, they take another Nexus. I've had people go straight Reaver. I've had people go all in two base. So we're going to have to wait and see, like you said, what's Dark's follow-up going to be. Now this scout pattern from Terror, remember last game he scouted uh, horizontally first, and then he went cross scout. So are we going to have a cross scout from him this time? If he goes to the left side, he's going, oh my gosh, he's going like. to the left side. Someone needs to investigate this scouting pattern from Terra, and <laughs> from Terra because he's going to find this 12 Nexus again. And again, we may see a pull. This yeah, time it see. is cross position. So maybe yeah, that's why I'm most curious. Because will he pull cross positions? And of course, he's taking two guys off gas. So it looks like just an FD type build from Terra here. All right, he sees it. Let's see if there's going to be a response. Yeah, now is he going to pull SCVs? A lot of people like to do that. If you're Flash, he pulls every single time because I guess he just does not like yeah, 12 he's Nexus. he's confident. He's also and playing against people that max so fast, so. And, let, and let's be honest too, Flash has such good CV micro. I mean, it's just ridiculous. There it is. And so this okay. time, remember we pointed out five SCVs were pulled last game. This time it is eight. So if Terror does not get something done, this is a pretty big economic yeah. commitment from him. Yeah, if, if this uh, was held by Dark, Dark would be feeling very confident. <laughs> Yeah, now Dark this time, I'm checking his gates. This is already worrying me. He's going 12 Nexus and he's blind mm. sending out his Zealot. Yeah. 
He's gonna run into these Marines. See if Terra's paying attention. Uh, yeah, pretty good reaction. Gonna pull back here and seize the pain train. Yeah, the pain train is coming. Now, these SCVs may even be able to block yeah, the bridge. Yeah, block the bridge. Oh, the Zelda is just gonna stay out knowing this is a possibility. Let's see how Terra's micro is. But the Vulture here should go down fairly easily. Yeah, all right, no damage there. And there's nothing in the natural yet. One Dragoon spawning, but one Dragoon is not gonna stop a bunker. And Terra's is gonna go straight in the main and just drill on top of this Dragoon. <laughs> I mean, now when you have this around, right? SCVs, they're pretty strong versus Dragoons. Oh man, there's already probe kills going down, so that's a pretty damn good start. If you can't even save your probes from 12 Nexus, then you take just a devastating hit. And the bunker's obviously going down. I'm surprised he's still fighting here with probes. Incredible economic damage here for Dark. Yeah, this that's was... Eight or seven, seven or eight probes down. Terra doesn't lose a single SCV. And I mean, Dark is, is basically finished, I feel like, at this point. So this is looking exactly like game one, where... Terror does an SCV, yeah. gets the Nexus, he's gonna have mines again. Yeah. The bunker placement is amazing because yeah, spot on. where it is, he can only get one Dragoon down the ramp unless he wants to take crippling damage. So, again, Dark, this time he, he's gotta get a robotics. I feel like, oh, he's gonna decide to just go. Oh, he's, he's just go going now. for super aggression here. This is not gonna work though. There's like six Marines. Well, maybe, actually, the target firing is really uneven on these Dragoons just by coincidence. But he's already got the Nexus, so... Yeah, he's got the Nexus, he's trading and he's getting all these Dragoons for just dragoon. some Marines, oh my god. Oh, that that Dragoon is one hit away. Our mine's done? Yeah, it looks like he's going forward with the mines now. So he's gonna get some mines down, blocking off this. And he's gonna force these Dragoons... Oh no! Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh wow. That was close. There's another but, fantastic spot again, and I'm looking yeah, at the main nice. with Dark. He just started the robotics, so he can't oh, get yeah. out. This is this is this is vastly better. I feel like even than last game though, because last game Dark mostly ran his probes. This time Dark tried to get his probes to fight. They didn't do so very effectively, and he lost. It was I believe it was eight or nine probes. I mean, look at his economy right now. It's like a control group barely. Yeah, his econ's pretty trash. Terra's got more SCVs than Protoss has probes at this point. So this is even better than last game, and I thought last game was one of the most ideal positions you can possibly be in versus both <laughs> Now, Dark, is he going to go for fast, robo uh, fast Observer? I really hope he goes for Elevator, because flat out, it's just going to take him too long to get across the map if he goes Observer. Yeah. At least initially. I think Shuttle be first, and then Observer afterwards. Of course, he's got to worry about mines. Oh, look at this mine placement. Him. It's almost like Terra's a little bit suspect of, of DTs. It's very laid out, staggered, like you would see for a DT padding. Yeah, that, that, that's definitely true sometimes players do do that despite seeing mines they build dts anyway it's the most tilting <laughs> thing to lose it you're like i have mines i had everything what how did this even what yeah, exactly no i am sad because dark builds an observer first so he will yeah. clear his main but he's not gonna be able to get out on the map very quickly yeah, i don't like this as much economic damage as dark took i feel like just trying to go into like some sort of even mid macro game or whatever is not gonna work. I would have just gone for something and hope it worked, and if not, GG'd out. Yeah, so, even though I was talking about going shuttle first, I, I guess I forgot that the bunker's already gone. So, the observer yeah. will clear out this field pretty fast. I was remembering Eddie where we were just taking an eternity to clear mines uh -huh. and bunkers. So, the observer's gonna be fine. He's gonna get out of here. But again, we've already got two fact done for Terror. This is like identical to last game. Look at the turret placement. We have this turret ring. He's secure everywhere. He's got more tanks this time. He's got one okay. extra tank. Well, let's see, is Dark gonna make another round of or is he actually gonna save up and try to make a Nexus? He's already cutting probes too, which is like, I mean, his economy's bad and cutting probes like this to get his Nexus is hurting it also. But I guess he's gonna go ahead and expand. He's gonna come across with the Groons, but there's not even a shuttle, so, you know, what are you going to do against the wall? And three or four tanks, five tanks probably by the time they get there? Yeah, he's going to have five tanks. This, if you were to just change the map, like flip the map, the result is identical. We have five tanks. We've got this vulture at the third sitting there, just like last game. So he's going to see double nexus. If it comes yeah. out, oh no, he's decided to sneak by. But Dark smartly has two Dragoons in position. All right, so just coming up here to the wall. Um, but again, there'll be there'll be tanks in position. Two more will roll into the low ground. Looks like Terra, again, suspicious of that shuttle, probably because he's sitting those tanks back here in the uh, main base, keeping him unseaged. Yeah, you do have yeah. to be worried about bus because even oh, yeah. though you kill the Nexus, Protoss is on two gate for a long time. So they do have a lot of units. 
but Terra, he just has so much. He's got two facts. Oh, for his own, he's got three facts. Dark's trying to kill his eBay, but really, the Terra, do, uh, Terra doesn't care about this building. It, yeah. You're just repairing? I, I don't care. Like, I know you're not, you know, dropping on my tank. I don't have to worry about Reaver or anything. So, so this is fine. And again, a lot of Dragoons taking um, health damage as well. Loses a wand for absolutely no damage done. Terra just going straight up to five facts. Doesn't even care that there's not a... Uh, another base. He's just gonna have a gigantic army. Dark is trying to match this with his own gateways. He's going up to six gates, but you know, with, with the factory count that Terra's gonna have, this is not gonna worry Terror at all. Yeah. So supplies are just way in favor of Terror. Dark has a good gateway count. We were gonna have six versus five. So that's okay versus five back. He's already down in units. The the main issue is, I don't think he has enough probes to support. Yeah, he doesn't. So and certainly not have... to have six gates and expand. Yeah, so we have the production, we're just not able to produce out of it. And Terra, he, he hasn't even scanned yet, but he's already on five factories. He wants to end this game. I don't even see an, oh, there is an armory. So he's even getting plus one behind it in case this attack fails. But the chances of it failing is very slim. Yeah, I mean, I just, I just don't see where Dark goes. Like, maybe Dark can produce, like, Zealots out of these six gateways if he doesn't really make too much other stuff. But the moment he goes to expand, he's going to have to pause production in the vast majority of his gateways. Yeah, and we, we even see him cutting probes at the natural. He does have decent saturation there because this is a 7 mineral patch. To have 10, it's not, not bad. It, it could be a little better, maybe 12, 13. But he does have decent saturation. He is just pumping units. He knows that it's most likely Terra is going to go for timing, which he is. So he's getting out as many units as possible. I'm trying to see if he's got a shuttle. He does not have a shuttle, but he does have a speed. Coming in pretty soon. It will definitely kick in before Terror sets up. But Terror has done a really good job, specifically only building tanks out of these two add-ons yeah. that he has. And because of that, he has already <laughs> his, 12 his tank tanks. Count, yeah, double the Dragoon count. Double the Dragoon count. And there's at least a Vulture per Zealot. Yeah, for all you Terran players out there, it, it, this is what you should do. I know sometimes you're like, oh, I need Vultures. So you start building Vultures out of your, ad, out of your factories with add-ons. Unless you're in super desperation mode, don't do that. It's going to limit your tank count, and you're seeing the result of it. To have 12 tanks at this point, this is really great from Terra. It's almost unstoppable for Dark. In that in that vein, what do you think about, though, building exclusively tanks until you push out, and then when you push out, uh, doing a few rounds of vultures from all your tanks for faster reinforcements? Because I encounter a lot of Terrans that do that. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on that. Yeah, so, so that's pretty good. The thing is, is... Yeah, oh no, know. these vultures though, the mines are getting mined, they're getting pinned in, oh my god. He's just gonna have to run in here, but look at the unit count for Terror, gonna go nowhere for Dark, just getting smashed, no siege victory here. Yeah, no siege necessary, he just flat out has so many units, even plus one kicking in right this now. This is the worst feeling for Protoss when you just sit here like getting no siege, you're like, oh my god. Yeah, like this, this was just nothing went well for Dark again, very similar to the first game, there is the GG. All right, so Terra in very dominant 2-0 fashion. I guess you could say what I think pretty much everybody was expecting to see. Although, honestly, I was expecting maybe a little bit more opposition from Dark, but I guess when you lose your Nexus like that so easily both times, you know, where are you going to go? Yeah, it, it, it does hurt as Protoss to lose the 12 Nexus. I am surprised that he fought with the probes. Uh, if he had kept yeah, those probes, weird. Talk about if he had eight, all of a mm -hmm. sudden we would have had better saturation in the main instead of having 10 at the natural when we actually took yeah. it. 15 so maybe yep. he could have gotten his production up but regardless Terran terror played very well dark a little too greedy and when you play like that it's easy to get punished by a great Terran and do you agree because the general wisdom I, I hear is that um uh, if you go 12 next because it's not a build I do that often if you go 12 next and you you know you lose your nexus but you you save all your probes you get another probe or two out while it's dying um then you're you're in a reasonable spot do you, do you agree with that, or do you think it is this, a little bit rough for Protoss, even this, in that case? This is the thing I have with 12 Nexus, that even if I kill the Nexus as a okay. Terran player, I don't necessarily feel like I'm ahead. I feel yeah. like I might barely be ahead, like maybe like 55-45, okay. because they're still going to have those probes, and you yeah. just pulled 8 to 10 SCVs for a long time. Now, is those 8 to 10 SCVs equal to the 400 minerals they lost in the Nexus? So for me, that's why I don't do it very often. That's my own. That's my I imagine own. if you kill eight probes, though, you're feeling pretty good. Yeah, angry. if I kill eight probes, that's totally different, but that doesn't happen very well. Yeah, that's, that, that's my understanding and my feel, um, but I just wanted to 
get your thoughts on that as well. Yeah, so that's my take on 12 Nexus. But anyways, that is going to be the end of game two. We've got Terror and Nemu in our winner's bracket, and that's going to be our next coming match. So stay tuned.